According to the police report, the victim died from a single gunshot wound to the chest. But who killed him, and why? Examining the body should provide a lead. Owen Grant. He's an investigative journalist. Did an interview with him last year. Must have been chasing a big story to be out here. Now there's a camera strap around his neck. But where's the rest of it? This trail indicates the victim tried to escape before succumbing to his wounds. Spatter analysis indicates the shot came from below. Grant must have dropped the camera when he was hit. Reviewing the reconstruction will help me find it, assuming the shooter didn't get there first. Alfred. Yes, sir? I'm sending you some data taken from a camera. See if you can ID the subject in the shots. Certainly, sir. Just give me a moment. Uh, here we are. Mm. Uh, one Chucky Burks. I'm sending you his last known location. Justice, you killed a man. Why? He was gonna expose our counterfeiting. I didn't have a choice. You always have a choice. Oh. Oh. Anything to report? Nothing you don't already know, sir. Some of the assassins have access to rather interesting technology. When this is over, you might want to consider appropriating it. Let some good come of tonight's events. is on his way. The guy's a beast. Ghost Wolf.
Come to me a hand. I was hoping you'd show up. Saves me the trouble of having to hunt you down. You just don't know when to quit, Sionis. Guess we've got that in common. One way or another, I'm taking you in. Now we can do this the easy way, or Yeah, yeah, or, or the hard way. But I think you know my choice. You! Take off now, and I'll consider not coming after you. Let's get the work, boys. With everything going on in Gotham tonight, you'll decide to waste your time with me. I'm done. I've got the numbers here, Pat. You really should mind your own business, Pat. Come on, Luke! You really want to spend the night screwing around with me in here? Monster! You really think we can take him? Alfred, let GCPD know Roman Sionis has been apprehended. They can pick him up at the church. Straight away, sir. You know what's so great about you, Batman? Even when I lose, I win. So go ahead, call the cops. They'll lock me up, sure. But my lawyer will have me out on camera. Fire damage is going to make evidence collection difficult. 
I should start by identifying the victim. Dental records indicate his name is Alex Kane. He's a small-time arms dealer that frequently works with the Penguin. Cause of death was a gunshot wound to the heart. The fire must have been set in an attempt to cover the killer's tracks. DNA evidence indicates the killer fired from close range. This suggests the two men knew each other. Maybe it was a deal that went bad. Interesting. The fire was actually started by the victim. Chemical residue points to an incendiary grenade. Guess an arms dealer always comes prepared. The spread pattern means the killer would have been trapped here, though. But there's no second body. He must have found a way out. The killer made his way up the wall in an attempt to avoid being overcome. I should follow his route and see where it takes me. that ladder. I should review the crime scene to see how he made his escape. These prints belong to King Lu, one of Penguin's top hitmen. Chances are I'll find him at the docks. I wonder what Cain did to deserve this. Penguin order you to kill Alex Kane. <laughs> I don't think so. If anything, Cobblepot's gonna have me killed for doing it. Then why? I was sick of playing heavy. I figured if Kane, you know, disappeared, I might be able to move up in the world. You're not moving anywhere now. Alfred, let the GCPD know where they can find Kane's killer. You can forward them all the evidence, too. It's already done, sir. Right, you know. The cops don't care about us. We'd be better off without them. But you already knew that, didn't you? Themselves. They feel their gaze, their billy clubs and guns. When they walk down the streets, we avert our eyes. We tremble when they speak. Who are these people, really?
But the cops all gone. Most of them are so crooked we'll be safer without them. But someone's got to keep the peace. Not someone. Every there's trouble. you did about the places I targeted, you spared them. Sorry to disappoint you. Disappoint me? Not at all. Come on down to the courthouse so we can continue Gotham's trial. you came. It's an honor, really. There's so much for us to discuss. What do you want? I'd like to propose an alliance. I think the two of us could accomplish great things together. I don't work with criminals. You need to turn yourself in. I'll tell you what. I'll turn myself in as soon as you do the same. Because you don't consider yourself a criminal, do you? The suit, the gadgets, the sense of entitlement. Another rich kid atoning for his fiscal sins. Such a shame. Can we change your mind? We are the many! I thought you wanted to make a difference. You fight all of us? Discourse and you respond with violence. We should be above this. You're just a kid. So, what does it matter? I wanted to make a difference. I thought you'd feel the same. I do, but not like this. A lot of innocent people almost died tonight because of you. Innocent? They watched as Gotham went to hell and didn't do a thing! They're just afraid. No, they're weak! And so are you. The police are on their way. You ever wonder how things got to be so bad?
greed, our fear. We look the other way when things turn sour. Bury ourselves in our jobs. Consume propaganda masquerading as entertainment. Batman? Do you copy? Gordon. Sorry to, uh, interrupt. Barbara gave me this frequency. I, uh, well, I thought you might be able to help me with something. Is there a problem? That depends. If we can contain this in time, it should be okay. Contain what? We've got some Black Gate escapees stirring up trouble in the city. And after tonight's events, I'm a little short-staffed at the moment. So you want me to bring them in? Well, that's what you do, right? I'll see what I can do. Oh, I'm liking these odds. That's the burn! back on that because that's what I do and because it's what you deserve Ugh. Gordon I've got an escaped Blackgate prisoner at my location evening sir looks like I still have work to do I assume you're referring to the Blackgate SKPs. They need to be rounded up before they cause any more damage. Or you could leave it to the police. SWAT's still out for revenge and the rest of the force is busy cleaning up the other messes. But I will think about it. That's the spirit. just outside JCPD. This was no accident. Victim is Nate Ramo, a member of the SWAT division. His whole team is currently under investigation by internal affairs. I wonder what he was doing here. Looks like he was thrown a considerable distance by the vehicle. I can use the spatter distribution to determine the point of initial impact. This is where Ramo was killed. DNA evidence indicates the car was traveling at a high rate of speed, but the angle of spatter shows the driver lost control and the car was weaving. I should review the crime scene, see if anything else was hit. Chemical analysis indicates a specific brand of paint that narrows down the make and model of the car and cross-referencing these specs with a list of his team members returns a single name, John DeMarco. 
Time to pay him a visit. We never made it inside. We're good? You took him out in front of the freaking GCPD! They're gonna be all over this! And then they're gonna be all over us! Relax. We'll we got a 1041! Why did you do it, DeMarco? Why did you kill Ramo? I indeed didn't have enough to make the charges stick. But the kid got scared, made a deal, and decided to talk. <laughs> Traitor. You'd have been out of jail in a few years on the drug charges. But now, murder means life. We'll see about that. With all the evidence I've collected, it won't take long for the jury to convict. Funny thing about evidence, it has a tendency to disappear. Not on my watch. <laughs> Alfred, let GCPD know that Ramo's murderer has been captured. I'm also sending you a taped confession. We'll bring down the rest of the team with him. Too. The GCPD is on their way. So? I ain't sticking around to wait for them. Yes, you are. Gordon, found another one for you. Send someone to pick this scumbag up. He's over. You're going back to Blackgate. Please! No! It's horrible there! Don't send me back! Should have thought of that before you signed up to be a mob hitman. Gordon, you should send someone over. Don't hurt me! Up yours, freak! Is that what they call me? Ugh. Gordon, another escapee from Blackgate. Send someone to my location. All right, that's the last of them. Thanks, Batman. I owe you one. Then do me a favor. Tell your people to back off and let me do my job. I'll think about it. Don't take too long. I've got a feeling we'll be doing this again soon.
I must say, Master Bruce, I have a good feeling about this James Gordon fellow. So do I. We may not see eye to eye on everything, but he's an honest man who wants to make Gotham safe. He can even handle himself in a fight. Mm. Do you think you'll work more with him in the future, then? We'll see. I don't think he's a big fan of my methods. But surely he appreciates the results, no? claim they have no leads, but there has to be something here. What didn't they see? These bruising patterns are inconsistent with the police report of multiple strikes. The victim suffered one massive blow that shattered multiple bones. These spatter patterns confirm this man was killed by a single large object traveling at high velocity. Reconstructing the event should reveal the murder weapon. The prints belong to Andrew Carter. He has a pretty lengthy record, but nothing that indicates this level of violence. Notes indicate he's been suffering paranoid delusions. Guess he finally lost control. Alfred, I need a last known location for a perp named Andrew Carter. According to the GCPD database, he was released from Blackgate just over a month ago. I'm sending you what I have. Oh, hold on. Mm. There's a notation here indicating he stopped attending court-mandated therapy sessions recently and is believed to be quite unstable. Do be careful. I always am. Shadow from his dreams, the one who must be broken. I was told you might come. You killed a man tonight. Why? He saw he would speak. We could not allow it. What did he see? What's Bane planning? I will say no more. Then we're done talking. <sighs> Welcome back, sir. You do know there are easier ways to earn frequent flyer points, sir? Very funny, Alfred. Why, thank you. Just a few more remarks like that, and I'll have earned my spot in the sarcastic butler's Hall of Fame. Well, this is turning out to be quite the Christmas Eve, isn't it?
you come from? Oh, Mama. Wait! Ah. Hello again. I'm afraid you'll find I've stepped things up considerably. Which means I think our... Well, I guess that's one way to solve a problem. Batman, you do realize there are other ways to overcome obstacles beyond smashing them. I think you've made the right decision. Recognizing when you've been beaten is the first step on the road to self-improvement. Who needs doors anyway? is this lucky you need to stop this stop what cleaning up the streets ensuring the gcpd actually does its job removing corruption from the system was it one of those in particular you took issue with or all of them you're using the data you've stolen to blackmail people so it gets the job done and it's certainly kinder than the beatings you're so fond of doling out think on that something hidden here. It looks like a page from a journal. Sir, it appears you have stumbled onto a lead in Gotham's longest-running cold case. Cyrus Pinckney. Indeed. He was instrumental in the city's rise to power and prestige. Worked closely with your ancestor, Solomon Wayne, as well. Alas, he was murdered on the eve of his 40th birthday. The killer was never found. Interesting. I recognize you're preoccupied this evening, but should the opportunity present itself, solving Gotham's oldest crime would make for mm, quite the feather in your cap. feeling, Alfred? Much improved. Thank you for asking. If you wanted to call it a night, I can handle things on my own. I'll rest when you do. Then it might be a while. Oh, didn't you know? A good butler must master the art of sleeping on his feet. Anything to report? Nothing you don't already know, sir. Two victims, both shot dead. I know them.
This is Horace Riley, heir to the Riley Mining Empire. Odd. He still has his wallet and watch. Clarissa Rodriguez. Riley proposed to her just weeks ago. Socialite and activist. Even though it's worth a fortune, her necklace wasn't taken. This wasn't a robbery. The reconstruction indicates Horace's lung was punctured. He drowned in his own blood. Clarissa took a single shot to the heart. Death was instantaneous. Both shots were from an automatic. Finding the casings will let me identify the killer. Looks like he tried to clean up after himself, but one of the casings fell through this grate. I can check it for prints. Did this. Alfred, I need a location on Ian Chase. Isn't that the fellow from your Halloween party? As I recall, you had to throw him out. Is he troubling Miss Rodriguez again? She's dead. Horace, too. Oh, dear. Well, I suppose we should have seen this coming. The location, Alfred. Sent, sir. And my condolences as well. Doing? Do, do, do you know who I am? I know exactly who you are. You didn't do it for money. You didn't even do it for love. You're choking me. I can't breathe. Not out of jealousy. Not out of anger. You did it because you're a small, selfish, malicious. Sir, is everything all right? Your vital signs are rather erratic. <sighs> what, what the hell's wrong with you? <sighs> Alfred. Let the GCPD know that Ian Chase has been apprehended. I'm also sending you the evidence I collected. Certainly, sir. And might I recommend you be on your way? No need to spend any more time there, hmm? Sir, a question, if I may? Sure. What will become of all this once you've finally decided to settle down? I hadn't thought about that. Settling down, I mean. Hmm. As I feared, Wait too long, and you might find it's too late. the 14th, 1855. My God, it worked! <laughs> Amadeus truly is a genius! Oh, you've come this far, dear reader. Allow me to explain. I learned Cobblepot intended to poison me, and so we endeavored to replace his tainted wine with one of our own creation. 
as expected. I choked, I sputtered, and then, ah, I passed. But it was not poison I consumed, rather something made by Amadeus. His concoction enabled me to enter a soporific state so profound that even to the keenest of physicians, I appeared a corpse. <laughs> Yet here I am, resurrected. And now I will have my revenge. Henry Cobblepot will pay for what he's done. An interesting turn. In trying to solve one murder, you've discovered the origins of another. Henry Cobblepot. Yes. City records say it was an automobile accident that killed him not long after Cyrus's supposed passing. But now we know the truth. He was murdered by the man he thought he killed. What about Pinckney? It appears that's a mystery that must endure a while longer. You were very cordially, cordially, cordially. You were very cordially invited to a party. And it will be a grand affair. Grand affair. Grand affair. And it will be a grand affair hosted by the Hatter. We do hope that you can come. You can come. You can come. We do hope that you can come to share in all the joy. Greetings and salutations, Batman. I am Jervis Tetch, inventor, entrepreneur, and part-time haberdasher. You must be wondering why it is I sought you out. Well, I have an employment opportunity I'd like to discuss with you. Help me! Please! If you can hear this, he's going to... <laughs> oh, don't mind Alice, poor dear. Her mind is all a flutter, and who can blame her after all she's been through? But I'll have her ride as rain soon enough. Don't you worry about that. from the tower, Batman. I've got work to do, and now... Crawling around in vents like a common rat. How expected. I bet steering that thing requires a whole lot of concentration. That poor door. You really should apologize. You must be feeling pretty good about yourself, Batman. I mean, you took down all the towers, which means you foiled my plan. Except, oh wait, I already have all the data I need. And as soon as I'm done uploading it, so will everyone in Gotham. There's still time for me to put an end to this. True, there is. Just not very much. It was a valiant attempt, though. You get an A for effort, but an F for impact. Enigma, where are you? I'm right here. Well, figuratively speaking, anyway. Disappointed I didn't choose to meet up in person? 
What's this about? Sionis hire you to throw me off his trail? Think of me as an information broker. I've got data handlers everywhere, feeding me all kinds of interesting stuff. And you think this is going to destroy Gotham? Oh, yes. See, bullet wounds and broken bones will eventually heal. But incriminating photos, videos, emails, that kind of damage can never be repaired. Tomorrow morning, when I release everything I've got, the city's going to collapse. Resignations, arrests, deaths. It'll be chaos in the streets, Batman. And there's not a thing you can do to stop me. figured it out. I'm impressed. Annoyed, too. But your achievement signals a level of intellect rarely seen in Gotham. It seems you're quite the riddle. Now, don't get too comfortable. You see, I learned something else tonight. The nastiest, dirtiest little secret you can imagine. It puts the rest of my collection to shame. But I'm going to wait to release it, if only because it means I get to watch you squirm as you wonder what on earth it is. I'll be in touch soon. Looks like he's no longer an imminent threat. I can close this case. For now, at least. Congratulations are in order, sir. Edward Nashton's on the run. Who? Oh, right. Enigma, sir. His real name is Edward Nashton. Worked for the GCPD, Cybercrimes Division. <laughs> Explains quite a bit. I need to find him before he has a chance to start over. We have his identity now. As soon as he surfaces, and he will, you can swoop in. You've dismantled most of his operation, so he should be harmless. At least for the next little while. Any sign of him, you let me know. Of course. don't want any accidents. Everything needs to be perfect. Of course. Of course, sir. You must refer to me as sir at all times. Do you understand? Yes. Yes, what? Yes, I understand. Yes, I understand, sir. Yes. No, sir. Of course. Oh, this is maddening. I'll have to look into refining the neural interface. Oh, well, the good news, the best news, really, is that it works. You all listen. Maybe not as well as you should, but it's...
wonderful. It really is an honor to make your... Where's the girl? W whatever do you mean? Alice. Excellent. Then you know why you're here. What are you talking about? Oh, perhaps we don't see eye to eye after all. Let me remedy that. Tick tock, watch the clock. What did you do? <laughs> Welcome to Wonderland, Batman. Oh, it's where I first met Alice. You know? Oh, what grand adventures we had. But then they took her from me. Poor sweet Alice. Lost her alone. I had to find her. Had to bring her home, and so I did. It was quite the journey, let me tell you. But she's here again. Safe with me. Forces of the Queen are everywhere, conspiring to reclaim her, which is why I brought you here. Who better to protect Alice than the Batman himself? you down here. Well, see? I developed the most wonderful device. One that compels obedience. And with weaker minds, it works quite easily. Stick my creation on their heads and just like that, they're under my control. Now, stronger-willed individuals, however, require a bit of... Oh, breaking in. And this, my friend, brings us to the here and now. You are my Humpty Dumpty, Batman. Your mind is shattered. And when I put the pieces back together, you'll be mine. Forever. <laughs> D. 
Did you know time moves in seven different directions here, but you've stuck to just one? Forward, always forward? Oh, how boring. So why don't we try moving back? Tell me what you see. Tell me. Tell me, tell me. Is it scary? I hope it is. <laughs> In fact, I hope it scares you to pieces. No, 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 no. This is wrong. All wrong. All upside down and inside out and wrong, 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 wrong. He just has to leave. He can, he will, he just has to leave. He can, he will, he just has to leave. Really now, you're becoming my pet peeve. Ha <laughs> ha 